Hello, my valuable friends. Welcome. I'm Tetevik. Today we're going to discuss online dating. Why you shouldn't do online dating and what is the alternative and how to meet your soulmate to use the online dating or in a natural way. We will discuss today why online dating is so harmful for our society, why online dating is unnatural, and why you should actually go backwards in a traditional way and understand that the only way to meet the man of your dream or a woman of your dream is to do it in a natural way how we have always done it. Before we start, I want to tell you that I do one-to-one -one sessions. You can also pre-order my book, online courses, or any other items that I sell. Or the links, all the links are below. Now let's start. I know you're excited and you can't wait to learn a lot about online dating and I'm here to help you. I have a lot of people that come to me after they've been online dating for a couple of years, five years, 10 years, 15 years, and they are still single. And that hurts me and it makes me feel so sad that despite them meeting 20, 50, hundreds of people, they still haven't found the one. So one day I sat down and I realized it's not about the amplitude and um, amplitude of the choice that you have. It's not about even the amount of people you meet. But it's just simply if it's done right. I know there are a lot of people who met their soulmate or their husband online dating or their wife and they say these good testimonies and I get it, that could be um, happening. But I have to warn you, that is exception from the rule. That's not the rule. It's like when you go gambling in casino, you can win, of course. But that is exception of the rule because the house always wins. That's the way how you get the thrill. The, the thrill that you play, you risk and you lose. But then if one time you win, you're like, oh my God, look, it works. Let me go back. That's how they get you hooked. Online dating can be also a little bit dangerous because a lot of scammers are there. A lot of people wasting your time. A lot of people you don't know who they are behind the wall. So in general, if I'm completely honest with you, if I would recommend you online dating, absolutely not. Would I download the online dating app? Absolutely not. I'm too valuable. I don't even want to think about it. And I prefer to meet people in a real life. I get so much pleasure when men actually has courage to come to me, look in my eyes and say, you're beautiful. What's your name? Oof, I'm impressed. Now I can talk to you. While online dating, it doesn't cost him anything. So number one, why we should avoid online dating and why online dating is so harmful actually for us is because it creates desperate hunters. The real reason you're online dating, let's be honest, is because you are deeply unhappy and you are deeply desperate. You're so desperate that you will not find the one that you think that I'm going to pressure this, push this and make it happen. And yes, you can go to multiple dates, you can talk on the phone, you can feel that you're not lonely anymore because so many people are, you know, sending you likes, sending you messages. But that is delusional because you are still desperate and you are hunting. If you have social media app, for example, you are on YouTube or you are on Instagram or other apps. Like I'm not good with apps because I personally prefer to be very secluded and very private and mysterious. I would not be in 100 different uh, social media um, accounts because it's just not my personality. I'm very one to one type of a person. I love YouTube. It's my own TV. You can come and watch me on TV. But that's very different than to be on several social media apps and several online dating apps. You know what's funny? That people who online date, they have a couple of apps. I'm like, how on earth is that even possible to maintain? You are so desperate that you became a desperate hunter. You're not just a hunter. You're a desperate hunter. So it's not one app you need. Now you need three apps. What's the point? And then girls come off of one app and then rush to see how many guys wrote in my other app. I was in a church once and there was a lady sitting next to me. And she was checking her online dating profiles. I, 
I didn't know what to say. So you are in the house of God. You can beg, God, please, Father, give me my husband. Send me my soulmate. Give me the man of my dream. That's what you can do in church. And you are sitting there scrolling online on your online dating app. And she was closing one app and jumping to another. And I was thinking, it's worship time. Put that phone down. The reason I noticed her is because of that light in the phone. I was like, who is distracting me? And I was shocked to see what she's checking. That's desperation. I know very handsome, very wealthy men who are saying that they're using online dating. And I'm shocked. How? Why? Why are you so desperate? I will be glad they alone at my house. No one is texting me. Yes, my phone is dry. Yes, no one is WhatsApping me. But at least I know I'm good. My mental health is good. Then checking one app and jumping to another and hunting and being desperate. Who will like me? Who will text me? Who will invite me out? That's desperate. You're desperate. And look at your pictures, the way you dress. Desperate. And you're hunting. You know, for a woman to actually dress provocatively, which is making a man to actually feel lust towards you, that's the most masculine energy a woman can have. A real true feminine lady covered because I'm preserving my beauty my body you can already see how beautiful I am what do you need me to open to show you you can already see so you dressing desperately talks very loudly about your self-esteem uh, precisely to say lack of self-esteem so that's number one reason why you shouldn't do online dating because it just shows that you are desperately hunting and you are a desperate hunter. It's going to always backfire because you, if you go hunting, you don't go hungry. If you're hungry, you're going to eat anything. The same is we don't go shopping when we are hungry because we buy snacks we don't need, food that we don't like, things that we don't need to have in our fridge because we're hungry we just grab anything because uh, this, the hunger is pushing oh my god this oh my god that but when you are going shopping and you're actually had some dinner you're like mm, i just need strawberries i need one sparkling water and i need a couple of fruits that's it instead of buying crisps that you don't eat chocolate that is not healthy think about what you're doing dangerous uh hunter stop it <laughs> now the second reason why I personally think online dating is not the best thing, best way to meet uh, the right man. It's my personal opinion. It's that it is actually a place for dangerous criminals. And I explain. Criminal is not a person who is going to kill you necessarily. But there is danger in dating complete strangers who m create an account just on purpose to date. You see, if I'm going out, I'm in a, having a dinner and you approach me, that's natural setting. I'm living my life. I'm enjoying myself. And then I can say, you know, I actually love someone, but thank you so much for approaching me. But that's more natural way how to meet people. Or I will say, yes, sure. I can give you my number if I'm single and then you can take me out. So that's natural because people meet and they date and they approach each other. But if I need to create a specific site, log in there, create specific pictures, pose, to post um, on my account that I'm looking for a mate, it's like, it's dangerous. Because my mind is twisted. I'm not living life. I'm so focused in finding a mate that it, I'm becoming a criminal. I don't care how, I will get him. <laughs> That's funny. And actually, online, you get all these scammers. They're asking you for money. Women say that men are asking them money that, you know, baby, can you help me with my business? Something, you know, just didn't work out. Just, you know, a couple of thousands. <laughs> oh my God, I can't do this. Never. That's why I tell to women, stop giving money to men. That's actually disrespectful. The reason I never pay on dates is not because I can't. The reason I don't pay is because it's a natural cause of events that a man pays. He's the provider. He's showing that I can provide for you food. And also in my culture, you know, in any Middle Eastern culture, it's respect towards men, that you respect him. So he's earning money and he can buy you dinner. You disrespect him like that. That's why I will never be with someone who thinks in a European way. Because I, it's not for me. I'm very traditional, incredibly traditional. So dangerous criminals are not only scammers, abusers, users, but they're also mentally dangerous. 
That's why all the crime becomes, you know, uh, real because it gets developed in your mind. Online dating can be dangerous in general because those are complete strangers. You don't know anything about them, but yet you give your address, you sit down in their car, you go to their houses. I personally don't trust people who are online because I don't even know how many people they're talking to. They could be texting 20 different girls. I'm not special. I'm not unique. And you will say that there are men that approach you even when you go out and they still play games and still manipulate and still abuse and use. I agree, there are men everywhere because those same men are, can be online. But it's less likely for you to get along with a dangerous criminal in the real life than online. Because online he has something to hide from you for. It's the screen. But if you're in person, if a um, person is coming to approach you, you can already read something is off about his energy. Something he's lying. I can feel he's hiding something. So you can very easily spot a dangerous person in real life because their body language tells everything off. Their scent tells off. I can smell that something is, you know, a guy is lying to me. One guy came a long time ago. I was going to the luxury shop and he saw me all dressed up with, you know, designer bags and everything. Immediately crossed the street. I'm like, why is he crossing the street like so hard, like chasing me? Hi, you're so beautiful. I just want to... He stopped me like he wouldn't even allow me to cross the street. I sense right away something is off about this guy. And he was so persistent. And I was like, uh, no, I don't feel like it. I felt something off about him. But I would never feel that if that will be online because I, I you know i can't feel the energy because it's just text after a while i saw him that actually he works in that store and he's hunting over after the rich women and i was like oh that's why i felt this energy something was so off you cross see me from like i mean men do crazy things to approach me so i'm not really impressed by that you know but in general i can feel something is off about the man <laughs> so Online dating, you can't spot the dangerous criminal. In real life, you can. Because your instincts are alive. Your intuition is talking to you. If you know God, Holy Spirit is saying something is off. No, don't give him your number. Don't say this. And I sometimes feel even when men approach me, I can smell woman on them. I don't know how to explain this to you. You have to be very experienced to actually know what I'm talking about. But I actually can scent when men has a woman or he is not single. And uh, I went out... Um, uh, a few days ago and I was coming by the stairs it's a beautiful luxurious restaurant and there are a lot of women coming and there's a man standing next to the um, uh, end of the stairs and he saw me and he uh, just uh, reached his hand to say hi what's your name and he looked at me like I'm an angel from the sky and I don't know but I felt something is wrong and I pulled away I said no but you have a girlfriend he's like what and then I see a girl coming and hugging him and I don't even know how I knew that he has a girlfriend. I could smell a woman on him. And then that girl came uh, to the ladies room where I was heading to because that's why I was going downstairs by the stairs. And she said, did he ask you for your number? I said, no, he didn't. But even if he would, I would not give him his uh, my number. First of all, because there is a man that I'm completely obsessed about, you know, <laughs> in a good way. I mean, there is someone in my heart that I can't stop thinking about, you know, who is my superhero. Who is my superman that I wanted to meet that man and I met in my life. Second of all, even if I would be single, even if I would not have anyone in my heart, I would still not give because I felt that he's not actually single. And I, I calmed down the woman and I said, you know, don't worry about it. But that's the danger that online you will never be able, I will never be able to spot if that person actually has a girlfriend because I will not be able with my instincts to sense something is off. So that creates a dangerous battlefield where there are dangerous criminals who want to use you, who want to waste your time, who want to just talk to you, who want to just be intimate with you. You have to understand 99% of online daters just want to have fun. You have to understand that's the, that's the behind idea of the, those apps. Now, the third point why you shouldn't date online is it is actually a place for devoted serial daters mm. oh goodness protect me from that online dating my main reason why i don't like it is because you're not special you're not unique you're just one-off i don't know how it works 
up or whatever the way you need to choose the person you are just one of hundreds i'm going to see thousands i'm going to see you're not special and there is nothing that i need to do to actually make effort to reach you because i just press like or accept or whatever way the app works and you're in my palm of my hand here you're talking to me and sometimes even women approach men <laughs> never in my life will i approach a man because it's the biggest form of disrespect and the biggest form of uh, hating yourself as a woman if you love yourself you don't approach men you're created for a man to approach you gain you impress you earn you marry you that's why men propose to women that's why men say, I want to be exclusive to you. That's why men is the first one who needs to say, I love you. Why? Because man is going to be providing for you. So he needs to choose to be with you. Now, devoted serial daters are people that is never enough for them. The, the choice is never ending. Oh, let me just soak in this choice of 100 women looking at me. 100 men looking at me. Look at me. I'm looking for validation. I'm looking for acceptance. I'm looking for approval. That's why I'm a serial dater. I go from one date to another. And then in one day, I have two dates. One woman in the morning, one woman in the night. And then if I don't like this woman in the night, I will text another one saying, can I come to you? Serial dating. Devoted. It's like everything, they don't even work. I knew a woman who would every single break that she had, she would go to the bathroom, she's checking her app. I said, leave that phone, leave it. She can't even go to the bathroom without the phone because that's the place where she's checking her messages. And she would go to the bathroom. I said, do you have some illness? Why are you going so often? No, because you know, then it's no cameras and I can check my apps. I was like, oh my God, stay away from me. <laughs> What kind of friends you choose devoted serial dater is a person that is never enough never satisfied next 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 item next person next restaurant i have restaurants that i love and i actually go back to them you know because i love it i love experimenting i love trying different restaurants and changing the locations i love changing different dresses but those are my dresses i'm not going to throw this their dress away because i wore it one time i'm going to wear it again if you want me to wear it i will wear it again and record another video devoted to faithfulness not devoted to serial dating you know what gives me the biggest satisfaction when i'm committed to one man when he's enough for me when i'm not looking for any other man when he's maybe texting me once a day because he's busy for example and i wait for his text and i'm not entertaining other men you know what gives me biggest pleasure that satisfaction to commit to one man when he's enough when I'm not looking for his replacement every time when he goes, travels or is uh, gone or is not texting me for one, two dates. I've been with a man that I really liked in the past. And even after I, um, you know, we did, we split, for example, on a good terms, I never have arguments with men that I date. One of the men, once I remember before he left, he brought me two bouquets. He said, see which one will last you longer. And he was literally crying. And I said, thank you for everything you've done for me. And that's how he left, you know. And he was taking care of me. He uh, got me that apartment, you know. And he was renting it for me. And he said, stay as long as you need until you find other place. So on a good terms, respectfully, that's how I date. Not serial dating, jumping from man, one man to another, going to one flat to another. For me to come to your house, you have to be very special to me. So this is the third aspect that is not really good to do online dating just because of this. Because you have serial daters. You're never going to be enough for them. Because you're just a number. You're just one of them. Now let's move to number four. The reason that I don't recommend online dating because it shows and indicates lack of confidence. Here, I don't even need to talk a lot about this. But if you deep inside feel that you are not confident to meet a person in real life, then you don't need to date. You need to work on your confidence. If you prefer online dating than meeting people in the real world, you're lacking confidence. You're not sure of yourself. You don't have self-assurance that I'm beautiful enough to be approached in a real life. 
you don't have enough confidence to say if someone approaches me i know exactly how to behave how to talk what to say you are lacking confidence so if you're lacking confidence forget about dating right now work on yourself work on your self-esteem loving yourself prioritizing yourself getting to know yourself being alone with yourself taking a bath and contemplating what kind of companion will i be what are the things that i need to work on myself confidence lacking okay maybe i need to change my clothing style maybe confidence is because of your weight maybe i need to lose weight confidence work on confidence not online date here I need to be very uh, short because lack of confidence is so self-explanatory. I don't even need to go into details. But if you're lacking confidence, online dating is going to be detrimental for you because you are going to take anything because of lack of confidence, because of feeling shy that you can't talk in real life. Why are you lacking basic human skills? Why are you shying away, hiding behind the screen? I love voice notes. One time I met a guy and when I came home, he sent me a voice note. Oh, I loved it. I was like, oh my God, I'm already in love. Let me send you a voice note back. I loved it. Instead of hiding, texting, pretending, just tell what you want. And I will have something, I'm doing something. I have my music on and I'm walking with my heels coming from shopping. And I will say, hi, I'm just coming from the shopping. It's so natural. It's so vibrant because I'm so confident. So work on your confidence. Now, number five, why online dating I would not recommend for you to do, and I would recommend you to focus on the real traditional way of dating, is because it indicates lack of worth. It means socially men don't want you. It means that uh, you are not on the market, and I mean this in a very respectful way, that you are not there to be seen, to be heard, to be admired. So you're hiding under, you know, this profile that you created. It means that you're lacking worth. You don't believe that you deserve, not even deserve, but you don't believe that you are not worthy of a, you're worthy of a man. You think that you need to go and find a harder way. One of my uh, friend's mother, she said, but actually online dating is hard because it means that you don't have your worth and you're just struggling to find someone. While you have your worth, you will not do, be doing online dating because you are so assured of yourself. That I'm worth of men. Every man, in fact, need to look at me. Look, I'm walking. Everybody is looking at me. A lot of men are approaching me in real life. And I will find, if it's if I'm new, I will find to work someplace where there are a lot of successful men who can see me, hear me, watch me, look at me, compliment me. So my self-esteem is actually fulfilled by real people, not fake people hiding in their online accounts. And I will tell you that actually men who online date, it's both sides, men and women, whoever is online dating, they're lacking self-worth. Do you think I will put this princess on online dating app? No, I will prefer to be alone. Because my worth is too, too, too high to put on a sale. I see online dating app as a sale, as like a bargain you know reduced aisle i don't like reduced aisle i'll be very honest with you it sometimes even irritates me when i go to the shop and i see these um uh, it depends on a shop but sometimes it's a red or yellow or um, like a very bright color sticker saying reduced discount I, I feel like ugh. i don't want discounted salad because the lettuce is ruined the tomatoes are all like uh, squeezed like i don't want reduced food 